What's up guys and gals, it is Chef Jay from NEPA's Home Cooking. Love that lemon water. And today's episode, um, let me just give you a little bit of uh, up to speed about today's episode. Now, a few months back, you may saw, you may watch my video that was called Clara's Poor Man's Meal. Now, Clara was a lady and she, she passed on. I'm going to put a description in this link too, just in case anybody missed it from the last one. She grew up during the Great Depression. Now, in her, in her, on her YouTube channel, she would make, recreate the meals that she and her family ate during the Great Depression. Now, as you saw, I did the poor man's meal, which was really good. Now, today I'm going to try and recreate uh, what she called was basic peppers and eggs. But, you know, I'm going to give it a, a Chef J twist. I'm going to put her original video link so you can watch her video down below. Um, and it's, uh, it was very basic. They had back during the Great Depression. There wasn't a lot of work, a lot of money. You grew most of what you ate. And what you did buy it was very scarce. Um, so also check out her channel. Now, again, she has passed on, but her channel still is still going. Um, let's now in her video she uh, she did it as like an open plate like you could eat like for breakfast but I'm gonna make it like a sandwich so I'm gonna put a little bit of twist on it the chef J twist again we're gonna do we're gonna do Clara's peppers and eggs have a good one yeah have a good one sorry we're starting son of a bitch okay step one we gotta prep the peppers Take out the center. My allergies are killing me today, guys. My one eye, my one eye's watering like hell. It's a pain in the ass. All right. I got a green pepper and a red pepper. I'm gonna flare it up a little bit. Get this in the pan, which you will see the pan in a moment when I flip the camera. Right, I gotta take a minute, guys. My eyes are killing me. Okay, sorry about that, guys. When I was working, by the end of my shift today, about 45 minutes in, my eye just started watering like all hell. And it won't stop. It's driving me nuts. Alright. So. Make sure we take off the uh, sticker here for the red pepper. Clean them up. And guys, we're making Clara's peppers and eggs. With a Chef J twist, we're gonna make it into a sandwich. But guys, I want to tell you for, well this year with the whole COVID-19, a lot of stuff got kind of kiboshed, but 
So we're gonna write this this year off as a eh. Next year though, got a lot of good stuff going on with the website. Which I even now I'm just not gonna do anything like till the end of the year for next year. Just because. But I'm gonna be excited because I'll be talking to that about that in the future. On the future shows. Yeah, the last couple of episodes, guys, you saw I was out in the out on the grill, which love the grill. But it's supposed to rain today. I'm like, uh, then I thought of doing the peppers and eggs. No, I'm not dicing the peppers. I'm just cutting them down because they will shrink a little as we cook them in the pan. We're going to get these fired up going now. We're just going to start up cooking those peppers and onions. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. And it's a go. Now, now guys, I was looking at the pan and all the peppers I cut, and I'm like, hmm, this might be a little bit too big for an actual sandwich. So we might do it like a, like a breakfast plate either, or it's still going to be good. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't, well, didn't think that too far ahead because I was kind of following what, you know, watching Claire's video, Claire's video, excuse me. But, uh, no Chef Jail put a twist on this and it'll still turn out good. Listen to the pan sizzle, people. While I'm doing this, I want to thank all of you guys and gals for supporting NEPA Home Cooking. Really appreciate it. Also, thank you for following NEPA Local Eats and Takeout. That's a good show, too. I'm going to hit this up a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to give it a little bit of a shot of the secret ingredient. Now I know back in Claire's day didn't have a secret ingredient. But now I gotta hit up with secret ingredient. A little black pepper. Now, during the days of the depression, Claire made reference that they had a lot of watching well, you know, they didn't have a lot, they they had very little, but they grew vegetables in their garden. Um, they would purchase, you know, they make their own bread, which I'm not making my own bread today. Um, but in uh, Claire's video, it's a two-parter. The one where she does the peppers and eggs, and the second part where she actually makes homemade bread. Now, I'm not going that far to making bread today, but we're going to pay tribute to Claire's depression cooking channel called the Peppers and Onions. But we're just going to throw a little Chef J twist. This is called peppers and eggs. So while the peppers are cooking up, we're going to get our eggs ready. I'm only going to do three eggs. That should be good enough. We're going to splash it with just a little bit of a milk. Make our egg mixture. Beat up these eggs. I'm 
we just let that sit for a few minutes. We're gonna go back to our pan. Keep stirring these peppers and onion. Peppers, no onions, just pepper. Okay, decided I'm not gonna use regular bread. I got a lot, I got flatbread that's sitting, so I wanna use that if I don't want that to go bad. Cooking those, still cooking those peppers and onions. Guys, it's about that time. We're gonna add the egg mixture. We're gonna bring this home. We're gonna go to eat. Okay. Laying in the egg mixture. Get that all cook up nice. Look at that. Gotta let this cook up. Almost done, guys. Time's come to build a plate. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? It does. Let's hit that taste. Right. Look at this. You could have this for breakfast or lunch or supper. The last few days I was out on the grill, which I love the grill, but also now they're calling for showers, so it'd be a good time to do the peppers and onion. Pep I keep saying onions, damn it. Peppers and eggs. lemon water that makes a good uh picture there there we go Whew. it's hot guys let me tell you not as hot as it was but hot enough those peppers that's a good clara from depression cooking Thank you for the ideas. Yeah, I like, the one thing else I liked about her, about her channel, she would tell stories about the Great Depression. I like hearing about history. As you all may or may not know, we have great local history ourselves. Battle of Wyoming was fought straight down the road. One of these days, I'll have to drive by. I'll just take a picture of a video of some of the old, the Scotland homesteads. Some of them are still standing. I don't know if, you, if they tore up, they're just, just there, but you could, I could probably go back and take a picture. Mmm. This is awesome. Here's a close up. See the peppers, green and yellow, egg. Now, towards the end, I'll start jamming into the, to the flatbread. I'm gonna eat it like an open face for a few, so for you for a few bites. I also, I'm sitting here. I want to give a shout out. I don't know if she watches the cooking shows, um, but my local eats and takeouts co-host, Miss Cinnamon Austin. I hope she's you're doing well too, Justice. I hope you're you know you're behaving. You're staying out of trouble. I miss both you guys. Can we get back on the road? Um, but I do enjoy the cooking shows too. As you can see, slowly but surely, I'm getting through this awesome food. Okay. I gotta stop and jam into some of my, you know, good water here. It's really good. Now, I'm actually, I'm also excited because, well, today's Thursday and, you know, well, it's Thursday. 
but I just got to get through tomorrow. And I'm on vacation. So I'm really looking forward to being on vacation. Now, pretty soon I'm going to I could tackle this puppy almost like like a breakfast burrito. Hey, what do you know? I think I did. Look at that. Yeah, I'd like to try something different, all the, you know. I don't know if it's, maybe later on if it doesn't rain, I'll sneak some grill time and we'll add it to this video. We'll see, though. But, I want to take this time to say, um, Wyoming Valley Reviews is now on Google. If you search Wyoming Valley Reviews on Google, you will find this. It'll take you right to the website. Also, the website, the home for simple ceremonies of NEPA. So, I want to thank you for joining me here for this video. And welcome, and like always, I welcome you back to the kitchen. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're gonna see you next time. We might actually see you in the next part of the video if I do, do another part of the video. That could happen. All right, guys. Until later, be safe, be blessed. Neighbor, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Chef JB, I hope everything's cool with you guys. Sisters, I don't have any brothers. Um, friends, family, I'm out. <laughs>